Hey guys, I've got an intro. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, Mike here. Um, I don't, I didn't want to do another long vlog. I found like the other two vlogs that were a little long. Um, but what I did want to do was talk a little bit about myself. Um, I don't really talk about myself very much. And I feel like it's because I still have this weird mental block about talking about myself to a camera. I think the entire concept of talking to a camera instead of a real person makes me feel awkward. But it's something I think I obviously need to get over if I'm going to be doing a vlog. So I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an insight into who I am, what I do, and stuff like that outside of my vlog and uh, too much sugar films. So I figured I'd start with my education, um, since that's kind of where my professional life started, I suppose. So university, I went to a university called Centre NAD or NAD Center, um, which is based here in Montreal, and it's a school that specializes in 3D animation and well, 3D animation and every other kind of aspect of how to make a video game or how to do post-processing for movies. I specialize in the video game uh, specialty and uh, along the way I became specialized in game design. So I am a game designer, but I'm also trained in every other kind of aspect of how to make a game. So I know how to model, I know how to unwrap stuff. I honestly really suck at unwrapping stuff. Actually, now that I think about it, everything material related and texture related, I just don't ask, don't ask me because I, I'm terrible at it. Maybe a contributing factor as to why I became a game designer in the first place, but you know, animating, photography, Photoshop and Illustrator. Anyway, you get the point. It's a whole lot of stuff. Um, but I found a passion for game design and it turns out game design, which I had no idea what game design was. I didn't even know the difference was between game designer and a level designer, where a level designer is somebody who actually lays out a level and lays out kind of the progression of that level. And a game designer is kind of like, okay, so game designer is a little difficult to explain to somebody who doesn't know what goes into making a game. Um, but I've somehow managed to find some kind of really cool analogy that I use to explain that to people. Think of a video game as a house. Now to build that house, you need different people who do different jobs, correct? Correct. Now, um, the, uh, somehow this is still difficult to explain even with my awesome analogy. Why is this so difficult? A game designer is a very nebulous job where you do things. So think of the plumbing and the electricity of the house, uh, which is done by electricians and plumbers, right? The electricians and plumbers are the programmers, so they breathe life into this game project. Without them, there's no electricity and there's no plumbing, and let's be honest, there's no electricity, there's no plumbing, there's no heating, there's no, there's no, there's no house, okay? The walls, the painting, the windows, all the other physical stuff um, is done by the artists, the animators, the modelers, the texture artists, <laughs> of which I will never be. So they create the physical house and without the programmers, plumbers, and electricians, there is no life in that house. It's just an empty house with walls that don't serve a purpose. Programmers can make, in theory, a really nice shack kind of thing, but without the uh, modelers and animators and a lot of other stuff, it, it remains a shack. It's not exactly a livable four season home so much. Anyway, so the point is here that everybody needs to work together. Now you might be wondering, okay, cool, you've talked about every other kind of job specialty or kind of job bubble, but you haven't mentioned game designers yet. Well, the game designer is like the architect. So before the plumbers and the electricians and all of them can do their job, they need to know where everything goes. They need to know how everything works. 
and it is the game designer's job to do that. So it's the architect's job to say, hey, there's a wall here and we need to have plumbing here on this part of the floor because otherwise this washroom will not work. Now, it doesn't sound particularly exciting, but the concept of game design is that you're creating from nothing. The entire purpose of game design is that you're creating from zero. It means you have to have a lot of creativity and originality constantly to be able to think up of new things and exciting things all the time. That's pretty exciting. I've had to pitch projects like shooters, puzzle games, simulators, strategy games. So I've had to go all over the map. I don't think I would have been able to do all that without my love for board games. I love me some board games. I actually, um, at Centrenade, designed a couple of board games with my fellow game designers. And one of them is actually out. A couple of guys started their own startup for board games and it's called Folklore. The first game that they released is called Mutiny. Mutiny is a kind of like, uh, if you've ever played Werewolves, or with a little like social card game thing, or Mafia, uh, kind of like the same, it's the same concept, except it's teams, and people need to work together to try and either protect the captain or kill the captain of a ship, hence the name Mutiny. And here it is, um, so this is what you can pick up online. The link will be in the description below. Or if you are a Montrealer, you can go to the board game store Shea Geeks and pick up a copy because they are the only place in Montreal that has copies of this. You can also check- oh my god. You can- oh no, no, no. You can- oh, oh, okay, come on now, come on now. You can also check out a review that was done by the guys at Bored to Death TV, uh, which will also be in the description down below. I always like to check reviews before I pick up a game because then at least I know what I'm getting into. Plus we got a pretty decent rating on it, so I can't complain. All right, well, I wanted to do something shorter. I don't know how much shorter this is gonna be in reality, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, kind of an insider look into who I am or when, where I come from. So hopefully I successfully did that. And um, please subscribe, like the video, share it, please share it, or comment, please comment. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about in these vlogs, um, because I'm scratching my head trying to figure out what you guys might think is interesting. Uh, but who better to tell me what's interesting? You guys. So let me know, and I'll try and uh, make something really cool for you guys in the next couple of vlogs. Alright, peace out. Maybe some water. You can also check out a, oh my god, you can also check, oh come on.